I'm sorry, you must be mistaken, new friend. I was born David Vickers. I became David Vickeroshi. I've never been David Buchanan. Well, I hate to break it to you, son, but in point of fact, you were born David Buchanan. Because the truth is that Ace Buchanan is your biological father, which makes you the missing Buchanan heir. Oh, my husband is Ace Buchanan's illegitimate son? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am, I am. Asa told me his own self. But we have been down this road before, remember? With your brother? Asa was clear as a bell. David Vickers is his biological son. Well, now, if that's true, that means that Clint and Bo are his... Are my brothers! is amazing i lost my brother spencer but i have gained two new brothers and nora an ex sister-in-law and natalie a niece you... but how can this be possible well it seems that your mama emma bradley had two different liaisons with asa one was before your brother was born and the second one was Nine months before you were born. So that means Spencer is Ned Truman's child, but you are Ace's boy. Ace's boy? I am a Buchanan. And I have a family. I'm just curious, Mr. Calhoun. Ace has been dead for a year, and if, as you say, he told you himself that David was his son. Why have you waited so long to come forward? And why now, Mr. Calhoun? Well, I think I'll let Asa explain that. Now, I believe this hotel has a conference room. Right down the hall. Come along, darling. Don't you want answers? Come. You knew. The knew. You all knew. This is unbelievable. David is your brother. He's Ben's brother. He's my brother-in-law. I know there's a lot to take in, but if I were you, I'd go see what that guy is up to. Who, David? But no, the lawyer. I mean, like Dorian said, he has got a reason for being here, and my guess is that reason is money. Of course it is, the estate. Yeah, and with Joey and Kevin in London? And Clint was obviously very well aware of the situation and still unable to control it. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Charlie. But, aren't you coming? Wait, no, I really don't want to intrude. Charlie, please. Please, I need you. And that's all she wrote. Your daddy left this DVD as a codicil to his last will and testament. And before you ask, it's the real McCoy. Bonded and accredited. Now, as to the terms to her last year's downturn and the losses incurred by B.E., Asa has cut his family out of the will and left his entire estate, his house, his money, and his company. All of it to you, David. Okay, now this all makes sense. David, are you all right? <laughs> this is quite a lot to take in. You have found your family and inherited a huge fortune. It's all good. You're going to get the company, the house, all the assets. Everything is yours. You know, I am sure Uncle David is extremely overwhelmed. I know I am. I mean, you've just become a Buddhist, which is totally cool. But, um, Buddhists, they aren't interested in, in money or, or corporations. You know, if Grandpa were alive, I know he would be so proud of you. Yes, Asa was a, a generous man. <clears throat> I'm sure he knew he could count on you to do the right thing. All right, can we just stop this right here? Thank you very much. 
I really think it's inappropriate to try and get David to divest of something he hasn't even had the time to itemize. No, he's got you for that, doesn't he? Yes, he most certainly does. Because I am his wife. Frankly, I think we should all be applauding David. He's just been told that he's inherited a huge fortune, and he's accepting it with grace and humility. So I think it's really inappropriate for you to pressure him to give up something that you lost due to your own inadequacy. And what are you pressuring him to do, Dorian? I would never pressure my husband. And how long have you and the Buchanan heir been married, Dorian? Soulmates don't have a timeline. So then why bother to make it legal now? <laughs> I mean, he'd just become a Buddhist. You had to sign over all of your things just to persuade him, so... Well, unless, of course, you had a vested interest. Of course I have a vested interest. I'm his wife. I'm very interested in making sure my husband's interests are protected. And obviously, all of you were trying to hide the truth about his paternity from him so that you could steal his inheritance. Uh, Dory, nobody stole anything. Stole anything. Oh, really? Then why is he only finding out the news now? Well, now, that's a very good question, Dorian. I have made a decision. Mr. Calhoun, thank you for telling me the truth. Clint, Bo, my brothers, thank you for your concern. I know you only have my best interests at heart. Vicky, my best friend, you've been watching out for me. I appreciate that. And everyone else, thank you for your support. This has been... Well, this has been overwhelming. That's why I need to speak with my wife. So, if you will excuse us. Don't call us, we'll call you. <clears throat> we should be so lucky. David, my darling. Dorian, did you marry me for love? Yes, of course I did. I love you, David. I always have. You know that. Did you really give your home to Mo and Noel? That's not so simple. Do you wish to follow the path of the Buddha? To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not as fond of all of that as you are. However, I have found it to be very, very peaceful and tranquil, and I'm really quite grateful to you for all of that. Did you know I was Asa Buchanan's son when you asked me to marry you? Look, we need to get a plan in place, because if David decides to ditch the robes and lay claim to everything that we own, we're going to have to move, and we're going to have to move fast. I find it remarkable. David is your brother. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, why in God's name would we tell you? Oh, easy, Oh, I don't know. Maybe for the children. He is their uncle now. And your good friend? All the more reason. To what? To tell you so you can tell him? Vicky, do you not understand what's going on here? Those children you just talked about? Your good friend David could take everything that they own. When did he write it? How the hell would I know when he wrote it? But yeah, Asa was crazy. Paul was crazy his whole life. I don't know, David says he's now a, a what he, a, he's, he's a Buddhist. How the hell would I know what he's thinking? Hey, hey. There's nothing you can do about it now, Dad. Except drink. All right. To Asa. World's biggest son of a bitch. <laughs> 
It's all a lie, isn't it? No, You David. don't love me at all, But, do you? David, darling, I do love you, and you love me. We're soulmates. You never intended to give Mo and Noel your home or your money, did you? Well, I said that wasn't simple. I think it is. When you had control of Buchanan Enterprises, you didn't want any part of me. And then you lost it. Did you marry me just so you could get your hands back on the Buchanan estate? Okay. You know I did. But so what? <laughs> David, you need me now more than ever. <laughs>